خدا میں رضوی ہو اولمیتی اللہ by his divine grace and by his mercy has put us on this dunya has put us on this earth and when almighty Allah put us on this earth as mankind Allah almighty has given us many 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 responsibilities and duties and the most important responsibility and the most important duty that almighty Allah has given us is that of protecting our deen and our iman the most important responsibility is to protect your deen to protect your iman to protect your faith system and when a banda when a servant of almighty allah is successful in protecting his deen and his iman by the help of allah then you will find that that servant of allah is successful in this dunya and he is successful in the akhirat also i think Something that is very important that many people forget is that, and we repeat this over and over again, is that we are not here in this dunya to live here forever. And I think this is what people forget. We know it. We know that one day mouth will come, mouth will come, everybody will face death. We know it. But we do not stay conscious of it. اس بات کے ہوش ہمیں نہیں ہوتا معلومات ہے علم ہے بٹ وی ڈونٹ ریمین کانشیس آف اٹ دیٹ دا ٹائم از گوئنگ ٹو کم وین آل مائی ٹی اللہ ول کوز آل یور ایکشنس ٹو سیز سب کام رک جائے گا اینڈ ویدر یو لائک اٹ اور ناٹ یو ول ہیو اینڈ آئی ول ہیو نو چوائس ان دس میٹر وی ول ہیو ٹو لیو دس ورلڈ اینڈ گو ان ٹو دی آخر سو اللہ آل مائی ٹی has given us a specific amount of time on this earth. A khas wakt hai har ek liye, muayyan, mutayyan wakt hai. All of us have been given the special time. And it is like, without comparison, samajhne ke liye. When you sit in a classroom for an exam, agar kisi ko koi exam likhna hai, exam banana hai. Aap ko yunai bote, the university or the school does not tell the student that you have to sit here and when you finish the paper then you give yani you sit in the morning at 8 o'clock chai 2 baje whether you can give it back at 2 pm 3 pm 4 pm or no problem you can sit here and give it back next week no 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 they give you a duration they give you a time frame that you have been given this exam you wait 2 hours or you wait 3 hours or you wait 1 hour depending how long the exam is And when that time expires, whether you like it or not, the examiner will take the paper away. Whether you like it or not. After the paper is taken away, then only after some time, few days, you get to know what is your result. Whether you passed or whether you failed. But the bottom line is that you are given a duration. You are given a time frame. 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 یہ تین گھنٹے میں بنانا یہ ایک گھنٹے میں بنانا یو کانٹ گو مور دین دیٹ ناؤ تھنک اباؤٹ اٹ اللہ ہیز پٹ ایس آن دس دنیا بیکاز دس دنیا از ان ایگزامپل ود آؤٹ کمپیریزن فار انڈرسٹینڈنگ از این ایگزام فاس دس دنیا از این ایگزام فاس اینڈ دا اماؤنٹ آف ٹائم دیٹ اللہ ہیز گیون ایس از ہاؤ مچ ہاؤ مچ آف ٹائم اللہ ہیز گیون ایس انٹل یو آر لائف ان دا دنیا انٹل یو آر ان دس دنیا Allah has given us enough time but once your eyes close that exam has ended now you cannot do anything you cannot change anything you cannot alter anything jo hua wo hua ab akhirat mein pata chalega ki kya hua kya nahi hua what does it mean that every moment in your life is kimti every moment in your life is valuable without comparison bila tashbi bila tamseel jaise jawab likh exam likhte hai teen ghanta ka paper hai kya aap sirf aakhri 5 minute reh jayega tab likhna shuru karoge when a person has an exam example he has a 3 hour exam will he only start writing when the last 5 minutes are left no if he starts like writing when 5 or 10 minutes are left a 3 hour exam he will fail he will not be able to finish that paper in the 5 or 10 minutes because it has been prepared for 3 hours 
This is what we want. We want to spend our whole life making guna. We want to spend our whole life doing wrong. And when you become very old and you think now I'm going to die, then you want to start doing good things. It's a kam nahi chalega. You need to be sincere. You need to strive every day in your life for the pleasure of Allah. Do you know? People waste so much of their time. We waste so much of time in our lives. Day and night. People sit and make mazak and masti for nothing. Look at our community. The dunya, ye dunya entertainment ban chuka hai. This world has become entertainment and fun and play for our office. But Allah is saying, do you know what this dunya is for? Why did I put you here? وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَا لِيَعْرُضُ I have put you here to make my ibadat. I have put you here to worship me. Think about it. Each one of us should think. In 24 hours, how much time is for ibadat and how much time is for khurafat? In 24 hours, how much time do we spend wasting it? Today, there is no fikr. There is no pure thought process left except to those who Allah has given guidance to. People don't value this life that Allah has given them. People don't value the months and the weeks and the years and the minutes and the seconds that Allah has given you. We want it to be like an exam that only when the last five minutes are left, we will write and finish the paper. Allah is Ghafur Rahim. Allah is Rahman, He's Ghafar, He's Sattar. But also remember Allah is Jabbar, so Allah is Kahar also. You must understand as merciful as your Rabbi is. But the wrath of Allah also descends when you commit wrong. We need to think about it. Why do we waste our lives and only at the end when we feel we've become very ill, when we've been become very old, when we can't do anything, then we say, let's try to fix our lives. We should make shukr that even in that time, Allah gives us the topic to fix our lives. We should make shukr that at the end, when we are about to leave this world, make dua that Allah gives us the topic of Tawbat al nasuha Allah gives us the topic to repent from our sins. We spent how much, you know, very simple. I'm not giving you any deep lecture today, very simple. But if you pay attention, it is a very deep lesson in the tasawwuf. It is a very deep lesson in spiritualism. What do you do with your time? What do you do with all this time that Allah has given you? I was reading this morning, you know, and before I tell you that, we find, you look at your lives, people spend how much of time just laughing and joking in a day? Just trying to make people feel like there's nothing. Wasting time. If we're not sitting and wasting time, we are busy eating. Today, people eat as an entertainment even. Not only eating when there is a need, eat when there's, whenever you feel like. The other thing that has happened is that we spend day and night laughing and making mazak and having fun, forgetting. Do we have fear of Allah in our hearts? How much of fear we have in our hearts? And the third thing which people do, which is another thing which we do very dangerous, very, very dangerous, is talk without reason. Bas bakhte jai. Carry on talking, don't care what you talk. You know it has come in the Hadith Sharif, that that person who continuously talks unnecessary, it's a sign of a liar. It's a sign of a liar. Because he just makes up stories. But this is what we have done with our zindagi. I was reading this morning. There was a beautiful message shared from Jam Tarada and Bareli Sharif. Very beautiful. It was a message from Sayyidina Imam Al-Ghazali radiallahu anhu. The great Imam of the Sufi and Ikram. The great Imam of the Sawf. He said something very beautifully. He said, Imam Ghazali radiallahu anhu says, that there are three things which make the heart very sakht, which make the heart very hard. You know, today we ask each other, we ask each other, what happened to me that my heart Why has my heart become so hard? Where is that softness and gentleness, whether it's with my family, my friends, my neighbors? Oh, why have I become so hard-hearted? You start to ask yourself this question. Imam Ghazali radiallahu anh, says that three things make the heart very hard. Three things are such that the heart is very soft. He says the first thing is to laugh without reason. In other words, to make joke without reason. Bila tajub hasna. Just like this. 
for, for sake of fun, just bring silly and crazy things because you want people to laugh at you. He says this makes the heart hard. He said the second thing that makes the heart sakht is baghair bhuk ka khana. To eat without hunger. Yani you've ate and you've ate and you've ate the whole day but you're still eating for fun. Karte na log. We do it. And he said the third thing is to talk without reason. Number one, to jest and jostle and make mazak and joke without reason. To laugh for everything. Number two, when a person eats without the need, unnecessarily. And thirdly, when a person speaks without need. He says these three, three things damage your heart. These three things make your heart sakht. Now think about it. Just take these words of Imam al-Ghazali radiallahu and let's each one of us look at our life. Every one of us. From three, one at least you will have. From three, one at least you will have. Those that don't do any of the three, subhanallah. But it's a very simple and basic thing that has been mentioned. And why did he mention this? So that you understand that Allah didn't give you this life for wasting. Allah didn't give you this life for making tamasha and mazak. Allah didn't give you this life for eating day and night and worrying about nothing else. Allah didn't give you this life for just talking nonsense all day. Allah gave you this life so that you can be conscious of reality. So that you can think, one day I'm here, next day I'm gone. Look at the awliya Allah. Look at Ghawsul Waqt. Huzoor Mufti Azam Hind radiallahu anhu. Look at Sarkari Ghawsul Paak radiallahu anhu whose Gyarli Sharif this is. Look at Hadrat Sayyidina Shahid Azam Imam Hussain radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Look at the Sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Each one of them valued every moment in their life. Waqt ki qadar karte te. They used to think that if we waste this amount of time now, how will we answer for this in the court of Almighty Allah? Think without comparison. Aapke dukaan mein, aapke business mein, without kum, bila tashbi, bila tamzil, safe ek misal. If there's somebody working for you in your business and he wastes the whole day doing nothing, at the end of the day, what do you do? Are you happy with him? Are you happy with him? He has worked. I put him to do a job. His job is to write example, type 20 letters. When the end of the day comes, during the day you see, he's only eating, he's on the phone with somebody, he's talking to somebody, he's making mazak with somebody. When the end of the day comes, you say, this morning I gave you 20 letters, can I have them? Say, sorry sir, I didn't have enough time. What will the boss do? Okay, well done, good, good, good. Eh? No, no, no. He'll say, you wasted my entire day that I gave you. You wasted this day that I gave you. You didn't fulfill the duty that I gave you. You were on the phone half the time. You were making mazak half the time. You were doing all this khurafat half the time. And then at the end of the day, you said, didn't have enough time. Think about it. Allah gave you this entire life. Without comparison. Allah gave you the entire life. You spend the whole life only eating, sleeping, wasting your time, enjoying your dunya. And when the time comes close for Malakul Maut to take your ruh away, then you say, I want more time, you can't get it. I didn't do enough, I can't. Will you be a responsible servant when you leave the world? Before you leave the world, are you a responsible servant? This is what I have to think about. I'm not only telling you, I'm telling myself. This is what we have to think about. That is why Huzur Sayyidi Ala Hadrat Adimul Barkat Radilan said, Shab subh tak sona tujhe. Shab subh tak sona tujhe. Din loh mein khona tujhe. Sharmin nabi khauf e khuda. Ye bhi nahi, wo bhi nahi. You sleep the entire night till morning that your fajr even goes away. Shab subh tak sona tujhe. Din loh khel mein khona tujhe. You spend your entire day in fun and entertainment. Sharmin nabi khauf e khuda. Nor do you have any shame in front of your creator Allah. Sharmin nabi. In front of your Nabi, no shame in front of your Nabi, no modesty. How fair could I? No fear for Allah. Neither this, neither that. So how are you going to be successful when you die? How are you going to have a beautiful akhirat when you die? You have to change now. You can't make the change after you die. It's too late. We have to make the change now. We have to become better Muslims. We have to become... And a good Muslim is a good human being. If you look in, in history, you will find that a good Muslim is a good human being. Because nobody has taught better examples than Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we need to think about this. Time is limited and I think there's a minute left before I end. But in this minute I want to just give you one message and then leave. That before these eyes close forever, 
in the dunya before you are not able to move your one finger before you are not able to take one breath before that time comes change your life change your life make yourself a better muslim let yourself be an example when people see you walk on the road they must say look this person follows the deen of allah and his rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam if you make this change in your life you will find a better spiritual community around you you will find a better atmosphere around you but if you going to spend your life in sin in doing wrong things in misleading others then you will find your entire community will become polluted example without comparison i'm ending with if you take if you take something that is poison one drop and you put it in an entire liter of milk whoever drank it is in trouble you're saying but i only i only did one wrong you're not seeing that your wrong is influencing your family wrongly your children are seeing that your wife is seeing that your brother is seeing that when they see you do wrong they will do wrong also if they see you if you get up in the morning everybody sleeping you give adhan in the house and you say to everybody come let's pray fajr salah automatically tomorrow if you couldn't wake up on time your son will come and wake you up why because you gave a good example it is time for us to think about our future think about our grave and think about the moment when you are going to meet almighty allah allah give us tawfiq khair allah taala keep us with iman let us live this world with iman those who are ill in our community allah grant them shifa kamila sa'ata ajal those that have passed away in ahl sunnah allah exalt them in jannah and aim we make special dua for the muslims of palestine may allah subhanahu wa taala ease the difficult time upon them may allah ease the difficulty upon the ummah and may allah subhanahu wa taala bless us to live with iman and to live this world with iman may allah bless us with having respect for our elders may allah bless us with respecting our parents and may allah bless us with being compassionate to our younger ones if you love your elders and you are compassionate to the young you will create a beautiful community allah taala iman ke sath rakhe iman ke sath uthaye wa ma'alil bala assalamu alaikum